I just wanted to take a moment to extend my deepest appreciation to Manuel Teodoro, Susana Suescu, Luz Aida Gomez, and the rest of the team at Septimo Dia for finally breaking through the taboo built around discussing the other side of adoption in Colombia. The side that ignores the fact that through adoption, an adoptee's connection to his or her country has been lost forever. Likewise, with respect to the language, uh, the culture, the people, the music, and most importantly, his or her family, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, and more. There were other great points presented in the series, such as, for example, number one, adoption is in fact a business, especially here in the United States, as it relates to Colombia, where tax refunds for overseas adoptions uh, from Colombia is one of the hottest topics among those adopting. Number two, Bienestar Familiar, ICBF, and Las Casas Privadas, the private orphanages, uh, require proper oversight, uh, preferably a strong real-time audit process to prevent unethical and or criminal behavior that is devastating for Colombian families as demonstrated in the series. Uh, number three, Colombia is the number one exporter of children in the Western Hemisphere and is one of the only countries that allows for its children to be adopted overseas once a single individual, Defensor de Menores, a single person, uh, declares that biological parents and family, extended family, unfit. Uh, something for dis greater discussion in Colombian society. Number four, adoptees from Colombia have been the silent parties to the entire adoption process for over 40 years, uh, for far too long. Our voices must be heard going forward. Uh, I would like to leave everyone with perhaps the most important reflection from the entire series. When asked what she would tell people who say that a poor child in Colombia is better off with rich white parents in the United States or Europe, Marcia Engel, an adoptee like myself, replied, money doesn't always mean happiness. Although Septi Madia chose not to present my story, one in which I have found four uh, other siblings, all of whom were also given up for adoption and, uh, illegally by our paternal half-sister who claimed to be our mother and also used an alias, I could not have been, could not have anything more but the highest praise for this groundbreaking series. Thank you Manuel Teodoro, thank you Septimo Dia, and thank you Catacol.